और पुत्र पवित्र आत्मा के नाम पर हमारे प्रभु यीशु क्रिस्ट की कृपा ईश्वर का प्रेम और पवित्र आत्मा का सहचर आप सबों के साथ हो A very good morning to one and all present. I feel very privileged to welcome His Lordship, Right Reverend Peter Parvalin, Bishop of Jhansi, and Right Reverend Ignatius Muscaradas, Bishop of Shimla Chandigarh Diocese, Reverend Mother Pauline Bharuja, Superior General, Daughters of the Sacred Heart, Reverend Sister Jyoti, Provincial Superior. Reverend Sister Sarita White, Regional Superior, respected fathers and sisters, parents, relatives and guests. We are gathered here to celebrate the Golden and Silver Jubilee and perpetual profession of our sisters. I now invite Sisters Reena and Ivy to give the introduction. Twenty-six October, 1944, Lashkar Gwalior. Her father, Mr. Francis Stewart, and Mrs. Madeline Stewart were a religious couple. She is the younger sibling of six sisters and two brothers. Her eldest sister was a nun of the Saint Teresa Order. She was inspired by her elder sister and decided to join the congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart. Father Roger, her parents' priest, was an instrument to guide her to become a holy religious nun. At present, she is residing in St. Jude's family home, inspiring each one of us by living a simple, faithful, and remarkable life for God. Sister Lina Castellino, was born on 14 January 1951 in the family of Mr. Daniel and Mr. Juliana at Chikmanglo. She has six siblings. She joined the religious congregation Daughters of the Sacred Heart after completing her junior college. When she decided to join the congregation, she was afraid whether she will be able to live this life till the end. Then she heard a voice telling her so loud and clear, take one day at a time. And it was grace of God that helped her to lead a happy religious life so far. At present, she is giving her selfless service in Malta at General Aid, as our Vicar General. Sister Alice Matthias, was born on 21st April 1952 at Shiva. She is the eldest daughter of Mr. Ligori and Mrs. Eliza Matthias. She has five siblings. Among four, three of them have dedicated their lives to the service of the Lord. One of her sisters is Maria Bambina Nun. One of her brothers is Father Frankie Matthias the priest in the Diocese of Chasi. Her younger brother is in the Missionaries of Charity Congregation at Kolkata. Her parents were devout Catholics. They brought them up in sound Catholic faith and reverential fear of God. She received the call of God when she completed her PUC. God's constant love accompanied her to be the daughter of the Sacred Heart. At present, she is in St. Margaret Mary Alako Provincial Aid at Chutpur, recovering from her sickness and praying for <coughs> us all. Sister Carmen Cardoza was born on 2nd August 1951 at Calvet. 
She was born to devout parents of Mr. Joseph Cardoza and Mrs. Gracie Cardoza. She is third among four children. The seed of her vocation sprung in her heart when she was in seventh class. She was struck by the words of Saint Ignatius. What does it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? She is continuing the mission of Jesus in forming the young souls in the formation house in Pamla at Shankarpura in South Karnataka. Sister Luz Norona was born on 24 March 1952 in the family of devout Catholics Mr. Anthony Norona and Mrs. Clary Norona. She is third among the five siblings. She was born in Varda. She heard the call of God during her schooling. The inspiration to serve the Lord and needy received from Mother Catherine and Sister Tanila. Constant valuable support from her family and guiding hand of Father M. Joseph led her to join the congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart. At present, she is in Paricha. She renders her generous service as an assistant librarian and nurse in the school. Sister Nudan Mugun hails from Sarbandia Parish in Jamshakur Diocese. She was born to late Mr. Paulus Mugun and late Mrs. Kuwari Mugun. She is the second child among the eight children. She received a life of faith from her parents who were rooted in faith and Christian values. Her Christian faith and values sprouted in her a desire to be her master's bride. On 16 June 1993, she joined the SH family. She accomplished her mission in various communities, whoever she was appointed. At present, she serves in Northeast Mission. Sister Kiran Maravi was born to Mr. Radhiram Joseph Maravi, who was a catechist in the parish, and to late Mrs. Muktilada Maravi. She is the fourth child among her six siblings. Her parents accompany their children with firm conviction about Christian values. Her father inspires her to consecrate her life to Christ. Late Sister Zeta Quatras and Sister Virginia recruited her and she joined the Daughters of the Sacred Heart Congregation in the year 1992. Teaching children in the school is not only her mission but her passion. She served joyfully wherever she was posted and at present she is in Shaktinagar community, al Diocese. Sister Tracy is is the third child among the six children in the family. She was born to Mr. P. Isaac and Mrs. Alphonse Mary. As a school girl, she witnessed the selfless services and the sacrifices at the time of a severe flood in Tamil Nadu. This moved and melted her heart towards the needy and the suffering humanity to opt for a religious life <coughs> which would give her an opportunity to serve. She chose healing ministry as her mission and profession. Now she is placed in Naini community, Allahabad Diocese. Sister Praveena, hails from Dalmia Parish in Kumbagonam Diocese. She was born to late Mr. Stephen Anthony and to Mrs. Savariyamal. She is the second and the youngest child in the family having an elder brother. The seeds of vocation were sown by her parents at an early age, which later sprouted in the course of her studies in the convent school at Pondicherry. After the completion of her higher secondary school, she met her parish priest and expressed her desire to join a congregation to begin her religious life. Sister Gracie and Sister Sarita recruited her and she joined on 12 June 1993. Though teaching is her passion, 
She rendered her services wherever she was planted. The nine years as a formator gave her immense satisfaction in her life. Coincidentally, her first batch of formis is making their perpetual profession and her last batch receiving their temporary vows this year. At present, she is in a right community. Sister Kripa Maria hails from Jolicot Parish in the Diocese of Bareilly. She is the third child among the eight children of her family. Her parents are late Mr. Sandoz John and Mrs. Magdalene John. She was motivated by her father and the parish priest of Jolicot, Reverend Father Harry, under the life orientation program in the parish. She was also inspired by Father Anil Dave's inspiring talks and these inspirations led her discern and she desired to join the religious life. Her family upbringing and her devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus strengthened her vocation further. There she met Sister Gracie de Sousa and Sister Nirmala through whom she joined our congregation on 13 July 1993. Sister Kripa completed her nursing in 2005 in Nazareth Hospital, Allahabad and thereafter she began her healing ministry at various places. She finds happiness and fulfillment in her medical ministry. At present, she is with the children in Foundling Hope, Jansi. Perpetual profession. <coughs> Sister Elizabeth Surin, daughter of Pramodit Surin and Sushma Surin, was born on 6 September 1993 in Shakti she is the first child of her parents and she was she has two younger brothers. Her parents were her role models and she was inspired to join the congregation by the DSS sisters working in Shaktinagar community. Father Thomas Kumar was constantly guiding and encouraging her to choose her religious life. Though she was the first and only child, her parents willingly gave her the permission to become a religious and she joined the congregation in the year 2008. She is in teaching ministry and at present she is doing her secretarial course in Lucknow. <coughs> Sister Alpana Kiran Ekka was born on 21st September 1993 in the village Bantua in the parish of Holy Family Church, Navadi, Gumla Diocese, Jharkhand. She is the eldest daughter among the three children of Mr. Sudhir Eka and Mrs. Majesta Eka. She lived in a joint family where Catholic faith was practiced and nurtured. Her grandparents were her best role models who inspired her and the desire to be a religious grew stronger in her. Sister Gabriela El Eka DSH, who is her aunt, showed her the way to join DSH family in the year 2008. At present, she is in the Tia community and teaching is her ministry. Sister Jyoti Sabina Minch was born on 14th December 1991 to late Mr. Bakus Minch and Mrs. Lelita Minch. She is the youngest child among the three girls. She hails from Immaculate Conception Paris in Gumla Diocese. Keeping her mother as a role model, she grew up in Christian faith. Prati Minch, who is her uncle, supported her family. The Sisters of St. John's Congregation in Ranji, where she completed her schooling, made an impact on her life. After completing her 10th exam, she decided to jo join the DSS family under the guidance of Mr. Theophil Calco and Sister Manju Pika DSH in 2008. Sister Asha, daughter of late Mr. Rama Rao and Mrs. Lema, born in Tiruburu Parish of Vijayawada Diocese. She is the third child among five children in the family. She has two elder sisters and two younger sisters. She lost her father when she was only three years old 
and her mother was all in all to the whole family. She was greatly influenced by her mother when she used to admire the religious sisters passing by her, and her mother desired that one of her daughters should become a religious sister. Without much understanding about religious life, Sister Asha promised her mother that she would be the one who would become a religious sister. Sister Sarita Vai was her vocation promoter and she joined DSH family in the year 2010. She chose teaching as her apostolate and she served various institutions and communities joyfully. At present, she is pursuing her formation course in Kenya. Indeed, our hearts are well up together in gratitude as we, the daughters of the Sacred Heart of India province, joyfully enter into a unique grace-filled event. The Platinum Jubilee of the presence of our congregation in India and we rejoice that we have been so graced as to be involved in the work of evangelization in the soil of India. सब सर्वदूतों, सब संतों, राप लोगों से ये भाइयों बहनों बिंदी करता हूँ कि आप लोग मेरे लिए रूप परमेश्वर से प्रार्थना करें, सर्वशक्तिमान ईश्वर हम लोगों पर दया करें और हमारे पाप क्षमाकर हमको अनंत जीवन प्रदान करें।
करें हे सर्वशक्तिमान शाश्वत ईश्वर तूने इन सेविकाओं में भक्ति स्मा की कृपा को इस तरफ पुष्पित होने दिया है कि ये तेरे पुत्र यीशु क्रिस्त का निकटतम अनुसरण करने लगी इन्हें ऐसी कृपा दे कि सुसमाचार्य परामर्श के मार्ग पर चलकर एक अलीसिया की पवित्रता बढ़ाए और उसका प्रतीक प्रेरित उत्साह बनाए रखे हम यह प्रार्थना करते हैं अपने प्रभु और तेरे पुत्र यीशु क्रिस्त के द्वारा जो तेरे तथा तो पवित्र आत्मा के संग युगान युग जीते और राज करते प्रवक्ता ग्रंथ से अध्याय पचास अनुवाद के चौबीस से पच्चीस आओ सर्वेश्वर को धन्य कहो वह सर्वत महान कार्य करता है तो माता के घर से मनुष्य का विकास करता है और अपनी इच्छा के अनुसार उसे गढ़ता है वह हमारे हृदय को आनंद प्रदान करे और हमारे समय में भी पहले की तरह इसराइल में सदा के लिए शांति बनाए रखे यह प्रभु की वाणी है
दूसरा पाठ एफेसियों के नाम संत पॉलुस का पत्र अध्याय एक वाक्यांश तीन से छ तक धन्य है हमारे प्रभु ईसा मसीह का ईश्वर और पिता उसने मसीह द्वारा हम लोगों को स्वर्ग के हर प्रकार के आध्यात्मिक वरदान प्रदान किए हैं उसने संसार की सृष्टि से पहले मसीह में हमको चुना जिससे हम मसीह से संयुक्त होकर उसकी दृष्टि में पवित्र तथा निष्कलंक बने उसने प्रेम से प्रेरित होकर आदि में ही निर्धारित किया कि हम ईसा मसीह द्वारा उसके दातक पुत्र बने इस प्रकार उसने अपनी मंगलमय इच्छा के अनुसार अपने अनुग्रह की महिमा प्रकट की व अनुग्रह में उसके प्रिय पुत्र द्वारा मिला है या प्रभु की वाणी है मैं सच्ची दाकता हूं और मेरा पिता बागवान है उस जाली को जो मुझ में नहीं फलती काट देता है और उस जाली को जो फलती है छानता है जिससे वो और भी अधिक फल उत्पन्न करे मैंने तुम लोगों को जो शिक्षा दी है उसके कारण तुम शुद्ध हो गए हो तुम मुझ में रहो और मैं तुम में रहूंगा जिस तरह दाखलता में 
रहे बिना डाली स्वयं नहीं फल सकती उसी तरह मुझ में रहे बिना तुम भी नहीं फल सकते मैं दा कता हूं और तुम डालियां हो जो मुझ में रहता है और मैं जिसमें रहता हूं वही बहुत फलता है क्योंकि मुझसे अलग रहकर तुम कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते यदि कोई मुझ में नहीं रहता तो वो सूखी सूखी डाली की तरह फेंक दिया जाता है लोग ऐसी डालियां बटोर लेते हैं और आग में चौन कर जला देते हैं यदि तुम मुझ में रहो और तुम में मेरी शिक्षा बनी रहती है तो चाहे जो मांगो वो तुम्हें दिया जाएगा मेरे पिता की महिमा इससे प्रकट होती है कि तुम लोग बहुत फल उत्पन्न करो और मेरे शिष्य बने रहो जिस प्रकार पिता ने मुझको प्यार किया है उसी प्रकार मैंने भी तुम लोगों को प्यार किया है तुम मेरे प्रेम में दृढ़ बने रहो यदि मेरे आज्ञाओं का पालन करोगे तो मेरे प्रेम में दृढ़ बने रहोगे मैंने भी अपने पिता की आज्ञाओं का पालन किया है और उसके प्रेम में दृढ़ बना रहता हूं मैं तुम लोगों से यह इसलिए कहा है कि तुम मेरे आनंद के भागी बनो और तुम्हारा आनंद परिपूर्ण हो मेरी आज्ञा यह है जिस प्रकार मैंने तुम लोगों को प्यार किया है उसी प्रकार तुम भी एक दूसरे को प्यार करो इससे बड़ा प्रेम किसी का नहीं कि कोई अपने मित्रों के लिए अपने प्राण अर्पित कर दे यदि तुम लोग मेरी आज्ञाओं का पालन नहीं करते हो तो तुम मेरे मित्र हो यदि तुम लोग मेरी आज्ञाओं का पालन करते हो तुम तो मेरे मित्र हो ये प्रभु का दिव्य सुसमाचार अब बहनों की आजीवन व्रत की घोषणाओं की धर्म विधि प्रारंभ होगी प्रार्थना और तपस्या से प्रभु समर्पण के लिए तैयार बहने आजीवन ब्रह्मचर्य के लिए प्रस्तुत हैं कलिसिया और समाज की सेवा के लिए तत्पर बहनों को अब जूनियर मिस्ट्रेस नाम से पुकारती है नाउ द राइट फॉर परपेचुअल प्रोफेशन बिगिन्स थ्रू प्रेयर एंड रिफ्लेक्शन दीज सिस्टर्स कॉल्ड मी Sister Asha in the Panuri. Lord, you have called me. Sister Elizabeth Sweden. Lord, you have called me. Sister Jyoti Sabina Mains. Lord, you have called me. My sisters, whether you ask of God, of His Church, and of our community, daughters of the Sacred Heart, by, by the favor of God, God we, we have come, come to know in a religious community the difficulty and the joy of your life, completely dedicated to Him. We humbly request you, sister, that we may make perpetual profession in this community of daughters of the Sacred Heart for the praise of God and the service of the Church. 
in the church places are consecrated the vessels are consecrated and the altar is consecrated and people are consecrated anything that is violates this consecration <laughs> is called a sacrilege so by our consecration we becomes the temples of god temples in which god dwells the holy of holies is placed the temples of the holy spirit the dwell god dwells in us the word of god strongly comes to us i am the vine you are the branches cut away from me you have no life because was so intimately related to me intimately connected to me intimately has become one with me the sap the life giving source is coming to you to give you life the life of holiness the life of perfect chastity the life of perfect charity the life of poverty by which we dedicate and commit ourselves to the lord for perpetually we don't belong to god because we are consecrated the consecrated places consecrated things are not used for anything else but it is consecrated it is perpetually consecrated the person is dedicated and committed to the lord and lord only that is why god says rejoice always we are called in a special way we are called in a choice made a choice a special choice on us each one of us to belong to the holiness of god to share the holiness of god the spread the aroma of the holiness of god to the ends of the earth go and proclaim this what you have tasted the joy of life the source of life and the beauty of life that the lord has given to us that we witness here on earth as the apostles claimed that we are the witnesses of the resurrected lord we proclaim him you have killed him and we have seen him resurrected and we are the witnesses he is proper sister is a witness of the source of grace the source of holiness that has she has experienced within herself it is what the generous gift of god that we are consecrated that the lord himself we are consecrated dedicated and committed my dear sisters we heard the vocation of many sisters all say that we are inspired all say that it is not possible for me but i rely completely on god i place myself first in the lord 
and give myself that the Lord will protect me, Lord will preserve me, I am in the hands of God. This is the beauty of our consecration. We don't rely on our own strength. We are weak and human. But the Lord is great. The source of grace and holiness the Lord is pouring down on you. Is not to be stagnant in you, but it is to flow into others. It is to spread. <clears throat> that is why the holiness of the church depends on you. Counts on you, each one. Church is holy of holy. It is because of the consecrated people. Dedicated and committed to witness the holiness of God that they experience in their life. I am here to congratulate the Golden Jubilarians, Jubilarians, and the finally Professor, all the sisters. To enter into the joy of the Master because of your consecrated life, because of your generosity to give your life completely to the Lord. <coughs> An intimate relationship with Jesus, who is the Master of the life. He gives life to all of us to live that life joyfully, happily, always rejoicing. Constantly praying and giving thanks in all circumstances that this is the will of God. Let the will be accomplished. Not our will, but the will of the Father in heaven. His will is that, that we stand together as one community to witness the tremendous holiness of God here on earth. And this era needs more, more witnessing, more proclamation, and more living. Let us leave our profession. Let us dedicatedly commit ourselves to the consecration that we have received. <laughs> our consecration life is a challenge to the world. The world cannot understand how these people are able to live this. Because God is in us. And God is with us. Holy of holies, give inspiration and strength to each one of us. Let us, my dear sisters, let us be united to the Lord. And the Lord strengthens each one of you to grow more and more in your holiness and commitment and dedication. Let this commitment take us along with Jesus to profess our life every day. That our faith is professed to proclaim to the world we are of the Lord. We are the people of God. We are the Holy of Holies. We belong to the Lord. We are one with God. The grace of God is shown in and through us. We are the witnesses of the holiness of church. The church is holy because the consecrated life of the people are holy. And we live that consecrated life. Let us witness that to the world. Let us proclaim to the world. Let us communicate this holiness that they are also called to the life of holiness and inspire them by our life our life of dedication commitment our way of perfect chastity perfect charity and poverty by which we are detached completely and belong ourselves completely to the Lord. 
the Lord protects us. I am the wine, you are the branches. The sap that is within me flows into you, the living source of holiness. And it changes us, molds us, and keeps us alive in the life of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> अब पवित्र हृदय की पुत्रियों की सुपीरियर जनरल मदर पॉलिन फरोजा बहनों की जांच करेंगी पवित्र हृदय के पुत्रियों की संस्था में वे स्वेच्छा से अपने आप को आजीवन व्रतों के पालन में समर्पित करने का संकल्प करती है नाउ Mother Pauline Faruja, the Superior General of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart, questions those to be professed on their readiness to devote themselves to God and seek perfect charity according to the constitutions of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart. <coughs> You are already dead to sin and consecrated to the Lord. Are you resolved to unite yourself more closely to Him by the bond of perpetual profession? I am resolved. Are you resolved, with the help of God's grace, to undertake that life of perfect chastity, obedience, and poverty which Christ our Lord and His Virgin Mother? chose for themselves and to persevere in it forever? I am resolved. Are you resolved to strive constantly for perfect love of God and your neighbor by zealously following the gospel and the rule of life of the daughters of the Sacred Heart? I am resolved. Are you resolved by the grace of the Holy Spirit to use your talents and gifts in general service of God's people during your entire life? I am resolved. May God who has begun this good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father the source of all good things and good gifts. As in his goodness, he has given this holy purpose to those servants of his, so he may lovingly strengthen it. Amen. Uh, <laughs> बहनों के सफल के पामाई जीवन के लिए प्रार्थना करें। Now the liturgy of the saints will be sung. I request you all to kindly pray for the graceful religious life of the sisters.
Almighty and ever living God, hear the prayers of your people. By your grace, prepare the hearts of your servants for their religious consecration. May the fire of the Holy Spirit purify them from all sin and make them burn with your love. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, Gawahi ke tor par do behne Mother Pauline ke paas khadi hongi. Behne ek ek karke Dhrammacharya, Agya Karita aur Nirdhanata ke Aajivan Vratam ka Sankal Sarva Janik Ghoshna Karengi. Two sisters stand as witnesses near the superior children. Those to be professed come one by one to the superior children and profess their vows of In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guided by the grace of God, and under the protection of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Saint Joseph, Saint Teresa of Jesus, and Saint Margaret Mary Alapo, I, Sister Alpna Kiran Ikka, in joyful response to God's call, offer myself freely and entirely in the fullness of my baptismal consecration to follow Christ more closely within the church and the service of his kingdom. Therefore, in your hands, Reverend Superior General Mother Pauline Faruja, I vow to God, chastity, poverty and obedience for all my life in the congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart, according to the constitution of the congregation. In the footsteps of our Mother Fondress, Maria Teresa Nusso, in faith, hope, and love, to live my offering each day together with my sisters, for the glory of God. Amen. I accept you in the name of the congregation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guided by the grace of God, and under the protection of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Saint Joseph, Saint Teresa of Jesus, and Saint Margaret Mary Alako, I, Sister Asha in Apanuri, in joyful response to God's call, offer myself freely and entirely in the fullness of my baptismal consecration, to follow Christ more closely within the church and at the service of his kingdom. Therefore, in your hands, the Reverend Superior General, Mother Pauline Paruja, I vow to God chastity, poverty and obedience for all my life in the congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart according to the constitutions of the congregation in the footsteps of our mother foundress Maria Teresa Nuzo in faith, hope and love to live my offering each day together with my sisters for the glory of God. Amen. I accept you in the name of the congregation. Thank you. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Guided by the grace of God, and under the protection of Our Lady, of the Sacred Heart, Saint Joseph, Saint Therese of Jesus, and Saint Margaret Mary Alaco, I, Sister Elizabeth Suri, in joyful response to God's call, offer myself freely and entirely in the fullness of my baptismal consecration to follow Christ more closely within the church and at the service of his kingdom. Therefore, in your hands, Reverend Superior General, Mother Pauline Farunza, I bow to God, chastity, poverty and obedience for all my life in the congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart according to the constitutions of the congregation in the footsteps of our Mother Foundress Maria Teresa Nusso in faith, hope and love to leave my offering each day together with my sisters for the glory of God. Amen. I accept you in the name of the congregation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guided by the grace of God, and under the protection of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Saint Joseph, Saint Teresa of Jesus, and Saint Margaret Mary Alaco, I, Sister Jyoti Sadinamit, in joyful response to God's call, offer myself freely and entirely in the fullness of my baptismal consecration, to follow Christ more closely within the church and at the service of his kingdom. Therefore, in your hands, Reverend Superior General, Mother Pauline Faruja, I vow to God chastity, poverty and obedience for all my life in the congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart according to the constitutions of the congregation, in the footsteps of our mother founders, Maria Teresa also, in faith, hope and love, to leave my offering each day together with my sisters for the glory of God. Amen. I accept you in the name of the congregation. परम पूजनीय बिशप स्वामी जी बहनों पर पवित्र आत्मा के वरदानों की दृष्टि की प्रार्थना करेंगे नाउ हिज लॉर्डशिप विथ एक्सटेंडेड हैंड्स प्रेस फॉर द एनॉल्टिंग ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट ऑफ द न्यूली प्रोफेस्ड सिस्टर्स Father in heaven, desire to serve you is your gift and sustain it is it is your care. For this and all your gifts, we give you thanks and praise. With love no words can tell, you created the family of man and woman through your word in the Holy Spirit. You took our human nature into the communion with yourself. You made it your pride, radiant with your likeness and adorned with the gifts of everlasting love. Even though your pride was deceived by the devil, and broke the faith, you did not abandon her. Love your servant, no, <coughs> moved you to renew the covenant you first made with Adam.
in the fullness of time, you raised up a holy virgin from the stock of Jesse. The Holy Spirit was to come upon her and your power overshadowed her. Make her the immaculate mother of the world's Redeemer. He was poor, humble and obedient, the source and pattern of all holiness. He made the church his bride, loving it with love so great that he gave himself up to it and sanctified it with his blood. In your loving wisdom, you have led countless daughters of your viewers to follow him as disciples and be honored as brides. Father in heaven, we earnestly pray to you, send, your, send the fire of the Holy Spirit to warm into flame. The resolve he has kindled in the hearts of your daughters. Lord, may the glory of their baptism shine again with the innocence of a newborn life. Strengthened by the love, the, the vows of their consecration, may they be always one with you in fervent love, faithful to Christ, their only spouse. May they cherish Mother Church and love the whole world with all embracing charity, teaching it to look forward into joy and hope into the good of good things of heaven. The Lord, loving Holy Father, guide the steps of your servants and guard in their pilgrimage at the judgment seat of the King in heaven. Let them not fear him as their judge, but hear the voice of the bridegroom inviting them to the wedding feast of heaven. We ask this through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. that marks you as bride of Christ. Keep on staying your fidelity to your bridegroom, that you may one day be admitted to the wedding feast of everlasting joy. Receive this stream that marks you as a bride of Christ. <coughs> Keep on staying your fidelity to your bridegroom, that you may one day be admitted to the wedding feast of everlasting joy. Amen. Receive this ring that marks you as a bride of Christ. Keep on staying your fidelity to your bridegroom, that you may one day be admitted to the wedding feast of everlasting joy. Amen.
receive this ring that marks you as the bride of Christ. Keep on staying your fidelity to your bridegroom, that you may one day be admitted to the wedding feast of everlasting joy. Amen.
चारों बहनों को चुंबन एवं आलिंगन के द्वारा पवित्र हृदय की पुत्रिया के धन समाज में स्वीकार करेंगी नाउ ऑस्ट्रेलिया जनरल मदर पॉली फरोजा विल एक्सेप्ट द पॉपुलर प्रोफेसर सिस्टर्स इनटू द फैमिली ऑफ द डॉटर्स ऑफ द सेक्रेट हार्ट विद अ किस ऑफ पीस वी कंफर्म यू that you are now one with us as a member of this religious community, daughters of the same heart, sharing all things with us for the future. Fulfill loyally the ministry and trust it to you by the church to be carried out in her name. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Amen. ये चारों बहने उल्लसित होकर अपने जीवन को एक गीत के द्वारा ईश्वर को समर्पित करेंगी द पर्पेचुअल प्रोफेस सिस्टर्स विल एक्सप्रेस द जॉय ऑफ देयर पर्पेचुअल कमिटमेंट बाय सिंगिंग अ डेडिकेशन हिम
is a sign of their dedication and commitment in the family of the daughters of the Sacred Heart. Our golden and silver jubilees will come forward to renew their vows. Your work and ministry 
we ask you to give them strength and courage in your hearts filled with faith joy and hope so that they may let your love and light shine out for others both in the community and those they meet in their in their on their journey and ministry for their family and friends we ask this to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen, amen.
बायो बानो बायो बानो प्रार्थना कीजिए कि सर्वशक्तिमान ईश्वर मेरा और आप लोगों का यह बलिदान ग्रहण करे हे प्रभु अपने सेविकाओं के उपहार और निवेदन ग्रहण कर इन्होंने सुसमाचार के परामर्श पर चलने का व्रत ले लिया है तू इनका व्रत अपने प्रेम से सुदृढ़ कर दे हमारे प्रभु क्रिस्त के द्वारा अपने प्रभु क्रिस्ट के द्वारा तुझे धन्यवाद दे ये परम कुमारी मरियम के गर्भ से निष्कर्ण अंग पैदा हुए इन्होंने हृदय के निर्मल लोगों को दिया धन्य कहा है और अपने जीवन से कुमारपन का उत्कर्ष आदर्श प्रस्तुत किया इन्होंने सदाएव तेरी इच्छा पूरी की और हमारे खात्र मृत्यु तक आज्ञाकारी बनकर स्वयं को पूर्ण एवं सुगंधित बलि स्वरूप स्वेच्छा से तुझे समर्पित कर दिया जो लोग इस पृथ्वी पर तेरे प्रेम और तेरी पूर्ण सेवा के लिए अपना सर्वस्व समर्पित कर देते हैं इन्हें प्रभु यीशु ने पवित्र किया और स्वर्ग में अक्षय निधि के देने की प्रतिज्ञा की है इसलिए दूधो और महादूधो स्वर्ग दूधो संतों की संगति में हम आनंद का तेरी प्रशंसा के गीत गाते हुए निरंतर एक सोर से गाते हैं कि दशों दिशाओं में दिन रात तुझे नॉर्मल बली चढ़ता रहे इसलिए हे प्रभु हम तुझसे विनम्र निवेदन करते हैं हमारे इन उपहारों को पवित्र आत्मा की शक्ति से कृपा पूर्व पवित्र कर दे कि ये हमारे प्रभु यीशु क्रिस्त का शरीर तथा रक्त बन जाए इन्हीं की आज्ञा से हम युग क्रिस्त का यह समारोह मना रहे हैं जिस रात को ये सुस्वेचा से मृत्यु के लिए सौंपे गए उन्होंने रोटी ली तुझे धन्यवाद दिया और रोटी तोड़कर उसे अपने शिष्यों को देते हुए कहा तुम सब इसे लो और इसमें से खाओ क्योंकि अब मेरा शरीर है जो तुम्हारे लिए बलि चढ़ाया जाएगा इसी बात भोजन के बाद 
उन्होंने कटोरा लिया तुझे धन्यवाद दिया और उसे अपने शिष्यों को देते हुए कहा तुम सब इसे लो और इसमें से लियो क्योंकि यह मेरे रक्त का कटोरा है नवीन और अनंतान का रक्त जो तुम्हारे और हो तुम के पापों की क्षमा के लिए बहाया जाएगा तुम मेरी स्मृति में यह किया करो और सब संतों के साथ हमें भी उनके स्वर्गी आनंद का सहभागी बनाए हमें इनकी सतत प्रार्थनाओं का अटल भरोसा है हे प्रभु निवेदन है हमारे प्रजन के बले सब संसार विशाल और कल्याण की वृद्धि करे अपने सेवक सब पिता फ्रांसिस हमारे धर्मदक्षारापुरी सभी धर्मदक्षों सभी आज को समस्या को विश्वास तथा प्रेम में जन रखने की कृपा कर दयालु पिता तेरी सेवा में उपस्थित अपने प्रजा की आचना एक कृपा पूर्वक स्वीकार कर दया से द्रवित होकर तो अपने सभी पुत्र पुत्रियों को वे जहाँ कहीं भी हो अपने साथ एक बना ले हमारे वृद्ध भाई बहनों को अपने राज्य में प्रवेश पाने दे और उन सबों को भी जो तेरी सेवा करते हुए परलोक सता चुके हैं हम लोग भी वहीं पहुँचने की आशा करते हैं ताकि हम सब एक साथ तेरी महिमा के दर्शन से अनंत काल तक तृप्त होते रहें हमारे प्रभु कृष्ण के द्वारा जिनसे संसार को सभी शुद्धान प्राप्त होते हैं
Gratitude is the memory of the heart. Is the memory of the heart that will recognize the good done. On behalf of DSH family, India province, I stand before you to express our gratitude to each one of you present here. Today, our hearts are filled with gratitude and joy that overflows within us as we recall the path we have traveled in this quarter and half a century in our congregation. We thank the Almighty for accompanying us in marvelous ways all through these years and keeping us safe, healthy and productive in His vineyard. We experience the hands of God in joys and sorrows, in good time and in bad time. On this momentous occasion, we express our deepest gratitude to Honorable Bishop, Right Reverend Peter Parapolil, and Right Reverend Ignatius Muscarenas, Bishop of Shimla Chandigarh Diocese, for presiding over the Holy Eucharistic celebration and nourishing our soul with a divine grace. We are truly blessed to have the shepherds like you. Your presence is a blessing and honor to our congregation. We thank you for your unwavering support and guidance. As you shepherd the flock, may God continue to grant you grace and wisdom. Thank you, Lordship. We thank the entire con celebrant for praying for us. We remain grateful to all the priests who are present here for your valuable presence with us and for taking time off to come here to share our joy. Thank you for your support and encouragement in various modes of our life. With heartfelt thanks and deepest respect, we vow to our Mother General, Reverend Sister Pauline Faruja, for your very presence, for your presence is our blessing. We also recognize the sacrifices you make for the spiritual welfare of our congregation. Thank you, dear Mother, for gracing this celebration with your spiritual <coughs> leadership and for being a beacon of light and guide in our lives. We express our deepest appreciation to all the former provincials whose leadership have been instrumental in shaping the journey of our sisters. Your leadership have woven threads of resilience, faith and selfless service. A sincere note of gratitude to our present provincial, Sister Jyoti, for sharing this event with grace and poise. You have been a source of strength to us through your prayer, sacrifice, support, and various other kinds of help. We are well aware, being the first term as a provincial and the first celebration in a grand scale is not so easy. But you have wonderfully organized in them in a short time along with your team members. We thank you, dear Sister Jyoti and the other counselors for your tireless efforts and dedication. Thank you for creating memories that will forever be etched in our hearts. A very big thanks to all our formators, for without you, it is impossible to overlook the foundation you have laid for this jubilant journey. Your wisdom has been a cornerstone in our journey. Your guidance has equipped us with the tools of navigate the challenges ahead, ensuring that the flame of our shared mission continues to illuminate the path of generation to come. Thank you, sisters. As we reflect on the years gone by, we are reminded of our countless lives touched. 
the community is uplifted and the love shared. We are grateful to all those communities where we have got opportunity to serve, gain support and confidence and were able to follow the others. A very special thanks to Sister Elsie, the superior of Jodhpur community and all the community sisters for your tireless work, support, collaboration and cooperation in every arrangement that you have made. We are grateful sisters to each one of you and we are proud and glad to say that we receive the family spirit here in our mother house. Our heart sings a song of gratitude to all the close by community sisters, the sisters from different congregations who have come from far and near. You have been a source of strength for us through your blessings and prayers. Thank you, dear sisters, for making the stay a memorable one with your presence. My vote of thanks will not be complete if I do not acknowledge our parents who have been a strong pillar in our life supported and nurtured us throughout our life journey. A special note of thanks to choir members, especially Sister Lissi Dasin, who through busy, though busy, taken keen interest and commitment in bringing out these beautiful and melodious songs. Thank you, Sister, and all the postulants. A special note of gratitude goes to Father Lazarus for accommodating the guests in the pastoral center, <coughs> providing the meals and taking care of every minute needs of them with so much of love and patience. Heartfelt thanks to Father Ambrose for providing the bus to bring the guests from the pastoral center. We are grateful to Father Dominic our parish priest for your unconditional moral spiritual support for which we are ever grateful to you. Here I express our thanks to Mr. Samir and his team for arranging the tent and sound system. A very big thanks to all the candidates, postulants and novices for your prayerful support and all the sacrifices you have made for the success of this day blessed. Here I request and I ask your permission to express a few words of gratitude to the family members in their mother tongue. Parameshwar ka vachan kehta hai Prabhu ka dhanyavad karo uska naam goshid karo Rashtro mein uska mahan kariye ka bakan karo uska naam ki mahima gao आज हमारा हृदय कृतज्ञा के उद्गारों से भरा गया है क्योंकि परमेश्वर ने हमारे लिए महान कार्य किए हैं मैं हमारे स्वर्ण जयंती रजत जयंती और अंतिम वृद्ध धारण करने वालों के सभी माता पिता एवं भाई बहनों के प्रति विशेष धन्यवाद देना चाहती हूँ हम सब आप ही के प्रेम प्रार्थना के कारण आज इस दिन को अपने जीवन में देख पा रहे हैं आपने हमारे दिलों में ईश्वरीय प्रेम का बुलाकट का बीज बोया जो आज ईश्वर के दातबारी में फल उत्पन्न कर रहे हैं आपने हमें ईश्वर की सेवा के लिए समर्पित किया आपके इस उपकार के लिए पवित्र हृदय की पुत्रियाँ संस्था की सभी धर्म बहने आपके प्रति अपना आभार प्रकट करती हैं आप सभी ने समय निकाल कर इस पावन समारोह में भाग लिए और यहाँ आकर हम सबके लिए प्रार्थना किए सभी माता पिता एवं भाई बहनों को हमारे दिल से दिल की गहराई से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप सभी हमारे लिए निरंतर प्रार्थना करते रहे ताकि हम प्रभु के कार्य को भावी जीवन में सुचारू रूप से कर रहे आप सभी को धन्यवाद मुजो जी सर्वस्वराज्य स्तुति गाता 
आत्म मुझो ते उल्लास पाता सोमेस्तान बोरे दीस मानता आज आपका बो ओत दीस ओ दीस सतोष आसो आल्लास आसो आज हम भैनी अपनी ओडिशो पन्ना वर संपयता हा वेला तुमका हाँ हम कम्युनिटी तर्फे अभिनंदन पाठता तुमका कलिता आसा हो गांव झांसी कित पैस आसा थेरकी तंडे गांव पैस ताव पैन कर सुस्टर ओर मोह दौर तुम्हें ते कुमे हंगे एवं पाया फकत मोह खाते तुमका पैलीन पैली हमें स्वागत स्वागत ते धन्यवाद मुटा सेव स्पेरिता देव शेसांक वर तुम्हें तुम्हें कुटमत त्याग कर हंगा समर्पित जीवन धड़ला देवा जा महिमा त्या देखो तुमका परसोत देव बरे कर मांगता आव आशीर्वाद आमका पेटता तुमसो मोग सदा हम तैया सुंदी आमी हमी सदा तुमसो मांग करता तुमको रोनी जान आसा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एनहेंसिंग आ जॉय ना हृदय मो प्रभु वन स्तुति चुन्न दी ना रक्षकुंद ना देवन अंत ना आत्मा आनंद चुन्न दी एन लेनी आनंद मुद सिस्ट आशा गरे कुटुंब सफलक माँ डी एस एच कुटुंब तरफ न माँ हृदय पूर्वक धन्यवाद वातावरण अनुकूल लेने पट्टिकूड मेरू यह नित्य मटपटल पागोनी मा सदोषम भागस्थल नोटिकोटि वंदने कोप आशीर्वाद करदय मेरू मा गृह द्वार मीराकायरवापड़ उ महिचल इणय वंद आंदूट नक्त उूचा सभपणी मनमीसो उ निवेदन है कि जो सेविकाए पवित्र वृद्ध द्वार तुझसे संयुक्त हो गई है उनका हृदय पवित्र आत्मा की अग्नि से प्रज्वलित कर और वे सदा के लिए अपने पुत्र के संग दी मेरे जो युगान युग जीते और राज करते प्रभु आप लोगों के साथ वो सभी शुभ अभिलाषाओं का स्रोत ईश्वर आप लोगों का मन और हृदय सुदृढ़ करे ताकि आप अपनी प्रतिज्ञा निष्ठा पूर्वक पूरी करती रहे वह आप लोगों को ऐसी कृपा दे कि आप इस पवित्र जीवन के मार्ग पर श्रेष्ठ के आनंद में परिपूर्ण होकर सुख दुख में एक दूसरे की सहायता देती रहे 
ईश्वर के प्रेम से आप एक ऐसा परिवार बन जाए जो क्रिस्त के नाम पर एकत्रित और उनके प्रेम का जीता जागता प्रमाण है सर्वशक्तिमान ईश्वर पिता और पुत्र और पवित्र आत्मा का आशीर्वाद आप सोम पर उतरे जो हम इस पवित्र धर्म विधि में उपस्थित हैं आशीर्वाद प्रदान करे आप लोग विदा रहे प्रभु की शांति एवं प्रेम के साथ जाइए will proceed with the photo session <laughs> followed by the felicitation meet again <laughs>
लोली बहुत बड़ा हो गया बहुत बड़ा हो गया कहा खो गया था आप